niggas are so unusual. Wolf gang, that's the fucking click. It's been over 10 years since the Los Angeles Collective Odd Future debuted their first project, The Odd Future Tape. Since then, they've helped transform hip hop and branched out from rap into other creative spaces like fashion and comedy, leaving a huge mark on their generation. So instead of critiquing a bitch and being mad as fuck, just admit not only are we talented, we're rad as fuck. Thanks to Odd Future's shocking lyrics, captivating visuals, and keen sense of marketing, the group was able to not only make their mark in hip hop, but in the world outside of it. It's a bunch of fucking teenagers who just do bad shit knowing that we can go to jail and get in trouble for it because we think it's fun. At their peak, the group boasted nearly 20 members, many of whom eventually launched solo careers, including Frank Ocean, Sid, Earl Sweatshirt, Casey Veggies, Haji Beats, Left Brain, Domogenesis, Mike G, Jasper, and of course, their leader, Tyler the Creator. What people don't know is that I'm smarter than a lot of people. Just because I joke around and that, they don't understand how aware and smart that I really am. At the time, there were plenty of other internet collectives making noise, but part of what made Odd Future's music immediately stand out were their lyrics. I'll crash that fucking airplane at that faggot nigga Bob is in and stab Bruno Mars in his goddamn esophagus and won't stop until the cops come in. Rape a pregnant bitch and tell my friends I had a threesome. You got a fucking death wish, I'm a genie, it'll get done. Okay, now what about your lyrics? What about them? What are you saying in your lyrics? Nothing. Shit to piss old white people off like you. Whether or not they were just trolling, the questionable themes in their music got them a lot of attention, mainly for their repeated use of homophobic slurs and violence against women. They're more aggressive. They don't care what they say. Like, they say anything they feel like, and they get away with it. The thing you gotta understand yeah. about OF is that we got famous off of our shit ideas. You know what I mean? <laughs> your first drafts yeah. ever. We got famous off of ours, so people were judging us and basing us off of our fucking whatever. You know what I mean? Like, like, like our yeah. first shit ever. But while they may have faced criticism for their lyrics, their unconventional sound grabbed the attention of both fans and critics alike. In an interview with The Guardian in 2011, Tyler explained the group's range of influences, saying, quote, I listen to Washed Out, Beach House, and Broadcast. That's what I'm influenced by. That's why the music is a mixture of pretty chords, fucking hardcore drums and bass lines, and really nice strings. <laughs> Along with their shocking lyricism and sound, their music videos mirrored Odd Future's versatility, ranging from dark visuals to more lighthearted vibes that showcase their sense of humor. We see that in everything from Tyler's infamous video for Yonkers involving a cockroach, to Jasper's appearance in an exercise video similar to Kanye West's The New Workout Plan. I'm swagging, bitch. I'm my style. But besides their attention grabbing tactics, the group also boasted a diverse collection of creatives. While members like Taco, Earl, and Tyler held it down with their antics in the spotlight, others like Sid and Frank Ocean were busy winning over their own admirers and openly identified as queer. They treat me with the same respect as they treat everyone else. We don't we don't let gender play a role in how we treat one another necessarily. So it, it's all the same to me. Sid, AKA Sid the Kid, held it down as a thoughtful presence in the group and as Odd Future's only female member. Black kid on the corner selling drugs, go figure. Sid the Kid, what the fuck we doing? Flipping bricks, nigga. Frank Ocean's elusive presence and mesmerizing sound captured the hearts of fans both as a member of the group and as a solo artist with the release of his debut studio album, Channel Orange, in 2012. Super rich kids with nothing but loose ends. Super rich kids with nothing but fake friends. Start my day up on the roof. They've um, liberated my thinking in, in some ways, creative, creatively, and in a sense of knowing that you can do a lot of it by yourself, you know? Um, not just the songs, but just taking control of your whole movement. As a collective, Odd Future helped change what it meant to be a rapper. Musically, the group didn't fit into just one category and created their own narrative for their art. Too black for the white kids and too white for the blacks From on the road to cracking locks up off them bicycle racks And Odd Future's presence online was hard to miss. They'd mastered a DIY approach that let them build an audience and drop music when and how they wanted, thanks to a sizable following on YouTube and Tumblr. I had a template for my press releases with the logo at the top. It made people think that Odd Future was signed to some big marketing firm. But we weren't, it was just me. The group was consistently dropping music and videos that kept fans aware of what they had going on and hungry for more. Bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs>
Drive off, nigga. Drive off. Keep your mouth shut. The rabid fan base eventually helped open the doors to their Adult Swim sketch comedy show, Loiter Squad, which ran for three seasons. So you just gonna bring me a birthday gift on my birthday to my birthday party on my birthday with a birthday gift? Happy birthday. But as word spread online about Odd Future's movement, so did their signature looks. Known for their love of bright colors and the notorious Supreme Box logo, the group established themselves as tastemakers in streetwear. Bitch, if your nigga had Supreme, we was the reason he copped it. Their brand affiliation quickly became more than that, with their merch becoming a staple in the fashion industry. Opposition, ho, nigga, we feel yourself. How you still our swag and figure you still yourself? The collective launched their own line under their namesake, laden with bright colors and their signature donut logo. And fans had no problem standing in line around the block just to cop a signature piece and get a glimpse of the eccentric group. Yo, all right, listen, if you'd have told me this shit was gonna happen a year ago, I'd have said bullshit. Over the years, Odd Future slowly began to grow apart as each member began focusing on separate projects. Tyler released his own solo projects, with each one's themes taking a wildly different tone than his earlier work. Sugar, honey, iced tea, bumblebee on the scene. Yeah, I give up my bakery to have a piece of your pie. His next project, Igor, is expected to drop mid May 2019. Earl Sweatshirt released his own solo projects as well. His most recent album, Some Rap Songs, dropped in November 2018. We out of time, please get y'all a bye straight. You ain't got a lie, shit tradition did it my way. Sid and fellow group member Matt Martians had branched out to start the internet. Their most recent project, Hive Mind, dropped in July of last year. And Frank Ocean, who generally remains pretty secretive, has had fans wondering what's next ever since he dropped Blonde in 2016. <laughs> You guys prophesy. We've gotten solo projects and music from other members too. Domo Genesis, Haji Beats, Mike G, Left Brain, and Casey Veggies have all released their own work. And while Odd Future may not be getting back together, as a group, their mark on this generation of music and culture has been undeniable. Internet, it's going down. Let them know. What is it going? Downs. I'm Tia with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Off your breeze, your breeze. Get a crew on they knees. Yeah, it's okay to be a freak. Let it go, let it ride. Let it ride. If you're a ripper.